Hi there and welcome to a new SketchUp rendering tutorial. So today I'm back with another tutorial about one of the features of the rendering program RRender Next. So here you see one of the skyscrapers I've built a few months ago I believe and I'm going to uh, start rendering it. And um, in this tutorial I'll explain you how you can actually change um, or rotate from which uh, you're rendering uh, which will uh, save you very much time because if you're looking at this render and it's rendering but you are like hmm yeah it's it's not at the correct space you would like to kind of change the view then you go click on this button up here in the rendering interface which says change view and then you have to click stop rendering to change view but you won't have to go back to a SketchUp to actually change it. Uh, for some reason, uh, it does kind of look, or at least, you know, the images or the colors do look kind of strange, but in the end, when you start rendering again, it's like totally fine. Here you can actually move around. If you click the middle scroll button of your mouse, you can uh, move to the left, right, up, down. And then uh, you can uh, just, yeah, by clicking the left button also just turn around. And then in that way you can change the view um, yeah, while you are rendering or just while you are in the rendering program. So um, yeah, just rotating around is this something you will have to kind of figure out how you do it. It's very easy, I guess we could say. Uh, so let's say this is the view we would like to go for. There you click the green render button and we start a rendering from this view. So yeah, that's basically it. It's not a very long tutorial, but I think it is about a very helpful and useful feature because in this way you'll definitely be able to shorten the time uh, it takes you to render scenes because you can render several scenes after each other without having, even having to close the R render uh, menu. So uh, furthermore, there are some other options, but I'm sure you'll be able to figure out about that yourself um, because it's simply not that hard to understand. But I just made this video to let you know that this feature is here and what that one button in the iRender interface was for. So I hope you find this video helpful and um, yeah, you'll be uh, saving much time using this feature while rendering. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching this video um, on the iRender NXT feature. Uh, in which you can rotate, uh, rotate while uh, rendering. So of course remember that you can actually um, check out the R render next site uh, website which um, you can find in the link in the description. It's called renderedplus.com and then you'll be able to learn more about this rendering program and uh, also see some other uh, like uh, sample renderings which might be uh, useful if you are looking for a good rendering program. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you back in another video.